the show yet. There it is. I'm a savage. You're a savage? Classic. Nope. Classy, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> yup. Andrew, hello, hello. What's going on, man? Hey, Andrew, I'm a savage. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's sitting here saying that she's a savage, and trust me when I tell you, that could not be further from the truth. That's what are you talking about? Not savage. I'm a savage. <laughs> Yo. Classy, not, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> not savage at anything. What? <laughs> What's going on, stud fishing? G-Man, Kyle Thomas, Penny, Winchester, Bonnie Blades, DTOM, Justin Small. What's going on, man? Super K. What up? Hey, beaches. So... Yeah, we're just hanging out tonight and uh, singing yeah. TikTok songs. Uh, yeah, singing TikTok, <laughs> TikTok songs. Apparently, although I'm not into the TikTok game at all, so I like him, like him too. He my man, he my boo. <laughs> oh, good Jesus, is that another TikTok yeah. song? Okay, I know nothing about TikTok. <laughs> Mo that's Molly's deal. Um, so, what's up, Rodney? <laughs> Been with the wrong women, huh? <laughs> right on. Scott Simmons. So, <clears throat> right, jungle balls and swamp ass definitely are two bad things. So, for those that wrong. weren't in Slicey Dicey's live just a few minutes ago, I was listening to it while I was setting junk up for this. And, uh,. I'm, I'm not even I don't even know exactly how it got started, but they started talking about different types of pants and underwear. And I can tell you with 100% certainty because I've tried a whole bunch of different ones, at least for me. Uh, I wear Duluth trading pants. That's like the only pants I wear anymore just because they're sponsored. Not sponsored, yeah. Yet. <laughs> um, but uh, but in the underwear game, me undies hands down make the best stuff period also not sponsored uh, yeah yet <laughs> <laughs> um so if you want to get like personally i wear like boxer briefs um but uh hands the down me undies like i've tried the duluth trading like the ballroom underwear and all that stuff they're fine they're not bad uh there's another brand out there called two under which is also, they make some really good stuff, but still nothing compares to me undies. They make the best stuff by far. Hi, Freedom Van. I'm going back to your comment here because we were talking undies. You we know. were talking undies, yeah. Uh, he's a first timer. So first hey, time. Hey, you well, got a first well, timer here. Hey, you got a first timer here. <laughs> uh, so we'll let you know that my wife is a bit of a potty mouth. So just keep that in mind if you're offended by, by rough language and if you're offended by dogs making noise in the background, um, I don't you're going to want to leave. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. So, and for whatever reason, we start alive and then the dogs who've been sleeping for the last three hours, it's time to wrestle. Mm -hmm. So, Kiefer, what's up, man? Can't stay, but you want... Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Sorry Thanks, you can't stay, but... Dude. We appreciate the, the super chat. Thank yeah, you very that's much. really kind. So, if you guys saw, uh, I put out a video the other day. Basically, it was just a video of me talking about stropping and 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 just messing around for a while and uh, whatnot. But uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think about uh, for a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I've got a few knives in mind, uh, but I figured I would do some some pretty sweet anodizing work and some cool custom stuff on a handful of knives and give those away if you guys are interested in that at work zach that kind of stinks you have to get back on the road soon but oh uh, you know zach, do good things make good choices <laughs> there you go yeah yeah zach's always working weekends Ronan Graves, man. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that. Buenos dias. What Buenos is that? Dias. What I, I do not speak this language you speak of. <laughs> Throwing down the Spanish. Ronan. Ronan? Ronan Graves. Ronan Graves. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. 
yeah, Zach, I, you need to uh, you need to bid out and get oh. on a different schedule or something and, no. and stop working all these weekends. He's driving home from Big Red's stuff. Oh, you're still at Big Red's house. There you go. You were hugged up with him all night? You got spooned, didn't you? Yeah, and I, I know who was the little spoon there. <laughs> I've been I've been with the well, that sounded wrong. Yeah. I've hey, been in the presence you? of these two guys. <laughs> You're not traveling ever again. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, Zach, that was really cool, man. I, I I am bummed that I missed it that when you made your grand entry, but the way I uh, heard it last night anyway, Big Red said he started the live and then you came to the door after he already started and he had no idea you were going to come. That's that's really awesome. Super, super cute. Super cool, for sure. Tojo, what's up, man? Big board knife and gear. Yeah, it was a good live last night, Super K, for sure. And I, I came in really late to it. Um, we've been really busy doing a bunch of different things. and uh, You know, down on the farm. Yep, down on the farm. So, yeah, super cool. I'm, I'm jealous as hell about that meat crafter. That knife is absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm digging this one here for a fixed blade as well, but that meat crafter, I, I like I like the bigger blades. Um, so what the this is the Saint Nick's. Look at you go! Look at you go! That is the Saint Nick's Manix too. It and was a dealer exclusive. Look at look at my wife just got <laughs> all the knife knowledge. What's the blade steel? Yo, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a dealer exclusive Saint Nick's Manix too. Uh, and then I've got the pair of. Blade HQ exclusive Manix uh, XLs in CPM M4. Hey, Rick. So, Penny, I got lucky. Like, I hear something 472 times. I might remember some <laughs> of it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I've been pretty pumped on a few of the new Tucsons oh, that I got. God. Everybody um, wants me to do a knife review. Everybody wants like, you to do a Andrew knife review. Andrew brought it up again. And yeah, I've gotten lots of requests for that. Andrew. Yeah. Bonjour, Stephen. How are you doing? Bonjour. Uh, yeah, one of these days we'll have Molly do a knife review. It, it would be fun. Um, we'll have to do it on something that she knows nothing about so she can just come up with useless bullshit information, which what might be pretty comical and fun. It could be. Yeah. Here's some cursing. <laughs> Here, here's some cursing from the wife. Put, hey, throw, freedom fan, why don't you fuck right off? <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I heard a great... Carol new... Baskin's a fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 fucking bitch. <laughs> Bonjour, bitches. The Tucson 117 does look cool, Justin. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure that one's called Grandpa. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks cool. And... Uh, Ma I, I'm pretty sure that one's a Max Chanik uh, design. And yeah, definitely a cool one for sure. Penny wants me to review the Meat Crafter. Oh. Well, I might have to rely <laughs> on Zach to hook us up. I don't even know if those are in stock. I um, That one kind of took me by surprise. I didn't even know that was coming. Uh, and I saw it for the first time on Zach's channel. And then, and then, uh, and then he gave it to Big Red last night. <clears throat> Which was awesome. But yeah, I would love to have the meat crafter. It looks super cool for sure. And I love the handle look. It's it's beautiful. Sounds kitcheny. It it is kind of kitcheny. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know I don't know the hist or the the designer, but apparently the designer does some type of a a YouTube channel where he's like all about artisanal meats or something. Um meat eater show or something. Meat okay. Eater, something? I don't, I don't know. know. But but the knife is it's it I'm gonna call it it's got like a six inch blade and it's it's really thinly ground so it's real flexible like a fillet knife kind mm -hmm. of thing. But the the handle I think it's a carb a carbon fiber and G ten handle. It's almost it's kinda like this actually. It's more black and then the very tail of it, like the last quarter of it's white. Hmm. And it's got a big hole through it like you could hang it on a hook. Okay. Uh, I'll show you a picture. I'm not picture. one for artisanal meats. I just like Mugen meats. Chris Sabo, what's going on, man? Newcastle Ninja. Care yeah, to run down a rundown of your channel? Do you focus on budget folders, fix all customs, of the above? All of it. Um, I don't a have a lot of more budget too. Yeah. Right? Uh, 
yeah, kind of. I mean, I would say two hundred dollars and down. Um, you know, I mean, like certainly I have some stuff that I don't have a ton of knives that are over the two hundred dollar range. I mean, I have a few, but but Wait, not a ton. Hollywood Tactical. Does yes. this show you're listening to right now mess up your personal life? Is that what you're saying, or are you guys talking about something else? <clears throat> I'm just curious. I have to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have Molly review the ProTech Whiskers. Okay. Yeah. I the the Whiskers is one that I would really love to have. I just have oh, never no. been able to bring oh, no. myself to buy it. I'm so sorry, Hollywood Tactical. How can I help you? Yeah, what's going on? What, we're ruining your personal life? That's a little rough. You, you don't have a personal life. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Freedom Van. Nice. <laughs> I, I appreciate the sub, man. So I would love to get to 2,000 subscribers before my one year oh, here on YouTube. We keep oh. interrupting his sex life? You're, dude... If, if you are having so much sex that you can't break away from it for one hour a week, um, you are the man. That's all I can say about that. Or if this is the one hour a week where you have a window to get some and you choose us, it, well, that's, that's true. you. That, yeah, that's true. If, if this is your op only opportunity for the seven day work week, or week and you're choosing to be here, then that's on you, bro. All right. But we appreciate it. Because um, we're on the weekend. Oh, so the weekend, and, the and all weekend is sex time. <laughs> your, your lady friend might appreciate it too. So you never know. <laughs> she may, she may be rooting us on and talking you into getting on here. Maybe I don't know. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I always choose the all gone show. <laughs> um, I hear you, man. I hear you. How many years? Of this we're talking to a married man here, guaranteed. A guaranteed. Yeah, it's a yeah. schedule thing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's scheduled. Are the kids awake? And Andy's like, do I have to ah, get up for work? Ah, I could go have sex, or I could just <laughs> sit here and watch some more YouTube. Professor um, EDC says we need to do um, a battle of the blades. Battle of the blades. Like, so, like a knife fight? Yeah. Or what, a dance off? What, what kind of battle of the blades are we talking? Uh, I do, uh, you know, like some versus videos. Personally, I call it <laughs> knife strife. So if you can go back through my playlist and look at the knife strife videos where I compare like two knives against each other. I know some people call those battles, but he's single. This is uh, your wait. problem, not uh, ours. Hollywood Tactical is single, ready to mingle. Only on L the weekends, though. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, dude. And if. OCD is not on. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is that I can tell you, because I've been looking at the analytics to my videos. <laughs> oh, definitely if, a West Side Story, Ronan. <laughs> if, if you're looking to pick up chicks, this is the worst place to be. Because I have something <laughs> like 99.97% .97 male audience. Um, so just I'm just throwing that out there. I appreciate everyone. Uh, but I'm just letting you know. But so, if, if you're expecting to meet some ladies here in the live stream, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. Your odds are not looking great. I mean, if Super Sissy Steve jumps in, maybe he'll lend you a hand. I don't know. Probably. But... I, I bet he's pretty desperate. <laughs> he is, I'm sure. <laughs> um, uh, um, Professor E.C. says, says uh, uh, I defend one blade, you defend the other. Mm. That could be yeah. funny. Yeah, we could do that. <clears throat> Congrats yeah. on the 25 years, Penny. We've been married for, I don't know, some years. <laughs> 15, 18? 14? Uh, 18? I don't know. Something like, no, not 18. I did not marry you when I was 20. 15. Probably 15 years, right? Yeah, close to. Oh, 15, how old's that kid? Years? He's 18. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, shit. 15. 15 years. We've been married 15 years. Damn. Yeah. Do you have a super freak? Super uh, freak. I did have a super freak, and I got rid of it. Um, I sell a lot of knives, uh, and so I, I do like the super freak. Nothing against it. I just <laughs> never really carried it. Oh, uh, Scott got. Uh, he bought one of those Mary Jane knives. The nice. <laughs> uh, uh, we have some more shit show knives that we're going to show tonight, um, which should be a lot of fun. We actually had. Uh, a couple knives mailed in to us, um, so we're going to check those out here in a bit. 
Well, Mean Gene, you better bring a lady friend to the channel so this poor guy, Tactical, can get a lady. Yeah. Everybody, if you know a lady that likes knives, have her make a YouTube username and yeah. join the uh, live, and we can just get this poor, lonely, single, ready to mingo guy hooked up. Uh oh. We have a naughty little puppy that wants to bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Something happens outside and a, a mouse farts out there and he freaks <laughs> out and starts barking. Hey, Chad, what's up? Thanks, BJ. BJ, thank you very much, man. I greatly appreciate it. Do you want to be my best friend? Did we just become best friends? No. Um, show the puppy. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know Come where here, he's at. Nemo. Is he over here? Come here. Yeah, he's here. Hold on a second. Mo, come. Come here, me, Mo. I'm, I'm gonna see. He he's a he's small. So let me see him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could just pick up the camera and show. Well, I could. So There's his so toes. he's checking out the knives. What up? So um, yeah, the camera it's, it's plugged in and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I really don't want to move it right at the moment. There was another live that we showed him in a couple of videos. Yeah, where you well, anodized. We'll we'll do we'll we'll do a video and show the dogs like actually show them good, um, <laughs> yeah. So I don't even remember what he we were talking about. He probably did now. boost a knife. He's probably gonna stab Justin in his sleep. Yeah, because you know they all love me the most. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, freaking story time. <clears throat> it's true. So. So, did anybody get anything new this week? I don't like Angelina Jolie. She can't come. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Who likes Angelina Jolie? Uh, Newcastle Ninja says Angelina Jolie lives ni likes knives. Maybe she's watching. If you're here, go the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now, killer. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with a lot of the things she says or does, but shh. At least the, there was a day that she was smoking hot. So, yeah. Got to, got to respect that. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like what she has to say. But yeah. she is good in movies. Yeah, back in the Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie. Good God. And Laura Croft days. Yep. Got the Bone Collector Small Skinner. I have an 8010K2 and a Spidey Chef on the way. Nice. Got a Magic Whiskers. I love the K2. The should be here tomorrow. What is Stud, this Matt Whiskers Stud business? Stud Fishing has an 8010, a K2, and a Spidey Chef on the way. So you went from not having any knives to having Grail knives overnight. Did your parents? Right on. Did your parents okay this? Yeah. Excuse you? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, this parent did not. <laughs> the... the, the uh, Magic Whiskers is a Protec knife that has a interesting opening mechanism. There's kind of like a hidden opening. It's really just a backlock auto. But oh, got an M4 Yojima coming soon, huh? There a uh, BJ. Nice. nice. Justin sleeping on the couch tonight. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Kluver, this is a Pearson custom knife, and this is the uh, Titan model that he makes. Um, really sweet knife. This one's in 10V blade steel. Um, I just received it a few days ago, but it's uh, blue micarta with red and white liners. So we got red, white, and blue. Um, oh, and, good work, Stud. He traded yeah. for all of them. Nice. Good work, man. Uh, so, yeah, Ryan Pearson killed it with this thing. It's uh, really, really nice. Really digging it. And no. just just a just a nice knife all the way around. Why don't you throw him in Burkle's room. You, you're grounded. Kyle, your Mordax is still in the mail, huh? Mo yeah, Mordax is a cool knife for sure. Um, I I wish they would have ground that blade thinner. Um, there's just no reason for the blade to be as thick as it is, but. It does create really good action on that knife. Uh, the dropping action on the Mordax is unbelievable, but there's also a lot of weight out at the tip of that blade. There's there's no distal taper in the blade stock on that knife. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool knife, and 
and make some really good noises. The aluminum handle on that thing is, is uh, I, I like the Mordax. It's a good one. <laughs> Our dog was making his great Pyrenees bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> nice. uh, was this noise, this good noise one you're talking about, was mm-hmm. that the one that you were annoying the fuck out of me the other night when no. I was trying to go to sleep? No. Hmm. That was this one, right? I think it was this. So the other night I'm sitting in front of my computer and I, I don't even remember what I was doing, but I Molly went to bed and I was apparently f- sitting there flipping a knife over and over and not paying any attention about it. And then she'd been in bed for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or something. And then she comes walking out and goes, will you knock it off? <laughs> and I was like, what? What'd I do? She's like, the knife. <laughs> and then and then stomp back into bed. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You so, guys know I have a strict this, this nighttime is, schedule. This is this is my life, people. I have a bedtime. I have to go to bed at that time. I have to read for so long <laughs> yeah, to uh-huh, calm uh-huh. my mind because you're driving me nuts all day. So I have to calm my mind. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Yeah, so I, I could actually fall asleep. I think I'm pretty sure it was this one here. Yeah. Um, see, Jamie knows he catches hell for that too. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. So, how many of you guys uh, picked <laughs> I up? I know, the- Stud. I know. He said and you were making fun of me because I had a bedtime. <laughs> I'm an old lady. <laughs> yeah, she's an old lady. At the beginning of this, she was saying she was a savage. but I that- am a savage. <laughs> yeah. So Between just- the hours of 6 a.m. <laughs> and 9 p.m. <laughs> so, so, she just said, I'm an old lady, all sweet-like. And then now, I'm a savage. Yeah. I'm a savage, yo. Uh huh. <laughs> what up, Big Sean? What up, Big Sean? What up, Big Worm? <laughs> <laughs> so, did anybody a savage pick... with the bedtime? Exactly. Thank you. Did anybody pick up the Canis? Anybody digging this thing? It's uh, it's definitely oh. different for sure. I can't sleep with something in my earballs, but uh, Justin sleeps with headphones in. The four of us should do a live stream uh, with Big Red and Nelly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I'd be down. If you want to go into a bravo move. Yeah. That Nelly? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, he's talking Big Red's wife. Her name's Nelly. Okay. Yeah. I'm how, in. How long is the Canis and how much? I don't remember the price on this. I'm wanting to say it was in like the 180 range. Uh, but length, I can tell you here in a minute. Knife couples. Couple goals. So, uh, blade length on the Canis. 190. Uh, no. (laughs) So, 3.482, uh, so just under three and a half inches, uh, blade length on this thing. And... So it's like eight and three quarter overall, I think, somewhere in that range. Let me see if I can get the oh dollars. What kind of yeah? Grind? So four point seven five inches on the handle, three and a half inches on the blade, roughly. What kind of grind is it? It's a hollow grind, uh, and what? it's really aggressive. It's it's good. What's with the interesting swedges? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they just did this for weight relieving. You know. Um, Having the swedge on the top certainly will help it pass through some dense material, but the fact that it it comes back to full thickness up here at the tip, uh, it's definitely interesting. There's no doubt about that. Um, so, you know, I don't know how much this material thickness being out here really helps stabilize the tip because you still have a hollow grind. I mean, I guess in theory it's good. It, no compound grind, right? No compound grind. No, no. The actual cutting edge is all hollow ground. Um, and it's a, it's a short hollow grind, but it's very aggressive. Uh, Chad, you're ugly. He okay. said it's super ugly. <laughs> super ugly. Yeah. Yeah. You're no, I, I get that. No, I'm um, I mean, it's certainly a different looking design for sure, but it's pretty, it's really good in hand. And I like warm cliffs, um, certainly like, uh, like hollow grinds as well. And so that part's really cool and the action on it's really great. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's it's a good one for sure. I like it, and it's like I said, the the looks of it are definitely uh, weird, different and weird. But 
That's a lot of spider coast. Bony Blade no says doubt. it's for bloodletting, but I just don't... That's not mm. ideal for bloodletting. Yeah, I mean... You got, it's, it's okay. You gotta have that, you know, that groove. What's yeah, it called? a fuller. Fuller. Yeah, for... Yeah, there's some knives that have really good bloodletting grooves. Uh, let me find one here. I don't like it, Chad, so don't... I was just giving you shit. <laughs> I, didn't, I haven't dealt with it at all, but I think it looks ugly, too. Penny likes the smock better. I'm looking to try out a new... This has good bloodletting grooves right here. A compression lock for the first time. Should I check out the PM3 lightweight? Um, who's asking? Uh, Hollywood Tactical. Hollywood Tactical. You know, single um, and ready to mingle. Single and ready to mingle. So... Uh, compression locks, <clears throat> if you're right-handed, uh, then then I would say you'll probably <laughs> like compression locks. If you're left-handed, I would say just ignore them. Um, if you like to carry with in your left pocket, uh, because they just don't work well for left-handed people. I am left-handed, uh, but I also carry uh, two knives generally every day. Uh, so I like the lightweight. I like the, the Para 3 lightweight more than the, the standard Para 3. Um, so I, this is actually a Maximet blade that I put in the lightweight frame. Uh, oh. so <laughs> exactly stick in and twist for maximum bloodletting. Yeah, exactly. Um, nim, 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 wait until your knife collection gets claimed as an asset in your divorce. <laughs> Keep talking about Angelina Jolie. Yeah, the, like that. there there are left-handed PM2s, um, but the, the vast majority of what you're going to find for compression locks are all set up for right-handed people. Um, you know, no doubt, yes, there are exceptions to every rule, but it just in general, to find one on a shelf somewhere, you're going to st get a, a standard, um, you know, right-handed compression lock. Uh, but there's a few, you know, Spyderco has the left-handed PM2, and then there's a few other uh, companies doing some different mods and stuff to make them, you know, either push button, a few different things. But, but yeah, I mean, compression locks, uh, you know, they're fine. Like, the action's decent. I mean, it's really, uh, you know, it's, ultimately, it's just a liner lock, except, you know, it's on the back side, which, you know, certainly is nice to keep your hands out of the, the cutting path and that sort of thing. But... Um, but yeah, the pair three lightweight, I like it. It's a great knife. Professor EDC said he just got a chaparral, but it's stiff as a corpse. Does it ever break in? Um, yeah, it should. I mean, you know, you may need to adjust it. You may need to get in there and tune her up a bit. Um, but yeah, the chaparral's a good knife. I like the chaparral. The the blade's really well ground on that thing, and the chaparrals are generally uh, pretty good in my opinion. Does the PM3 lightweight compression lock have good fidget factor? Uh, Is yeah. Is it better than an access lock? Uh, I wouldn't say that necessarily. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, as you can see right here, this is a, a pair of three lightweight. Fidget factor is good. And you can, you know, of course, spidey flick it and thumb flick it and all the stuff. So, yeah, fidget factor is good with the compression lock. Um but compared to an axis lock knife, um, I don't know that one's better than the other. Uh, if you're really down with the access lock and want a spider co, then I would recommend the Manix 2. Hey, Tactical Edge. Pennsylvania. What up? Tactical Edge. From what? Yeah, you do need to get a job, son. <laughs> Who's a stud fishing? Of course. Oh, okay. He's just my son now. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, um, access locks, I mean, access locks always have really good fidget factor. Um, and, you know, the the Manix 2 is basically an access lock it, as far as the functionality goes. Yeah. Hey, guys, here's something cooler. I did my nails today. How do you like them? What do you think? If you watch nail channels, you would know. <laughs> I see that GT Elite there. Love it. Yeah, the Guardian Tactical. Uh, definitely a cool knife. Maximum bloodletting going on there with the fullers. Yeah, that's ideal. That's double fullers with bloodletting holes. 
So it's for full control of draining humors. It, yes. Yeah. 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 Humors. No doubt. Oh, thanks to your wife, Super K. I do them myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, let's. Uh, I'm gonna start moving some stuff out of the way, and we'll we'll get into some of these shit show knives that we have. Ooh, Let me move some of this stuff. Mr. Tactical. He says that they... Are we interested in getting t-shirts and hats made? Because uh, apparently where he works can do that. Oh. Right on. Yeah, um, that might be something that we do uh, sometime soon. I ordered that flag mat on um, Amazon. It's actually for... Uh, disassembling and, um, re, it, you know, the doing... The pew-pews. Yeah, the pew-pews. Yep. That's what it's for. And it, down here at the bottom, it's got uh, a little blurb from the Second Amendment. Hey, and Lindy Lou. What up, Lindy Lou? Uh, this, I got this way before, or, well, not way before, but maybe six or eight months before I ever put out a YouTube YouTube video yeah well it was for christmas um, before you did oh so yeah so, it, it, yeah i would have been my very first youtube video i put out like um end of july or middle of july or something <laughs> last year so we're getting pretty close to a year i've been on youtube hey manny what up manny z i gotta add a lot of people to my shit list tonight for being late yeah so we got some shit show knives here and we've got this uh sweet box set that got sent in so we got the, the Amazon Jungle Survivor. The hunter becomes the hunted. Doesn't even really make sense, but uh, I, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't understand why that means it's a good thing for this knife. So does this mean that this knife is fucking possessed and going to murder us? I don't, I don't know. Get that thing out of my house now. <laughs> I don't understand because it just I says, don't want to be the hunted. The hunter becomes the hunted. That doesn't make sense. No, it does not make sense at all. So. Oh, Super K's wife. She likes to watch with. That's so nice. Nice. Hello, Super K's wife. You're way cooler than him. <laughs> <laughs> Stonewashed jungle hunter set. So you can get a little sneak peek of the set there on the outside. Uh, let's see what this bad boy has to offer. <laughs> Hold on. Tactical said, tread softly. I love shit show knives. I literally considered buying the Jungle Survivor. Oh. I think it was like 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So, okay. Well, apparently this is the box set right here. So, oh, and it says right on the knife, the hunter becomes the hunted. Okay. I just don't. It's freaking me out, Dad. So, so it says, Amazon Jungle Survivor, the hunter becomes the hunted. Both blades housed in heavy-duty nylon belt sheath. Assisted opening folder, three and three-quarter inch blade, eight and a half inches overall. So we've got an <laughs> assisted folder in here as well as rugged stone... Oh. Rugged Stonewash 3CR13 stainless steel blades. Real nice. Wait. Bony blades. Ergonomic polymer handle with textured grip. Bony blades says what? He says, I think it means you're supposed to track and kill tigers with it. And only it. Oh. That makes sense because tigers are the hunters. Oh. So then, therefore, the, so the, and in so much. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So so the hunters, the, the normal hunters in the jungle it's now typical. are the hunted. Right. Gotcha. That's what I'm going to tell myself as I fall asleep tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, well, whatever. If you hear some, like, bongos in I'm going to burn this bop, bitch bop, bop, down. <laughs> some jungle music being played. I'm running for you and burning this mother down. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, let's see what we got here with the old Amazon jungle survivor uh, skull and <laughs> cold steel spears going there. That's a great question, David, but we're not asking questions. When it makes me feel better about the creepiness of this knife. He says 3CR is a rare Amazonian super steel. Oh, of yes, course. Of course it is. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Or cannibals. Yikes. Yeah. All right. So let's let's check out these sweet, sweet 
uh, Amazon Jungle survivors. Bye, Professor EDC. Hopefully Later. we'll wake up alive tomorrow. All right. Well, we got poison for the trolls, so that's good. Apparently this uh, Amazonian super steel is not um, not stainless. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we've... Let's, let's move this stuff. Oh, oh no. Oh, I no, caught that. No, Did you no. see that? that was... Well, I didn't hear it fall, so. Yeah, that was impressive. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm pretty sure this referenced the heavy-duty nature of the nylon belt sheath, and I can assure you there is nothing heavy-duty about any part of this. Big um, Sean, you nasty, and you need Jesus. <laughs> uh, so uh, it does come with this sweet, sweet uh, lanyard. <laughs> and if you guys know me at all, you know how much I love lanyards. I love them even more when they're off center like this one is. So apparently this is for the... Is this just to have a length of paracord in your jungle surviving? Yeah, so you can choke. Somebody Choke out because the knife's shit? probably not going to do anything. So, so apparently these were not made in the Amazon rainforest. That says right there, China, China, <laughs> China. Uh, we do have a deep carry pocket clip right here. Um, retention is not good. Um, it's very very loose. Good. I could not just too spring great. it. Um, I'm sure. Uh, blade play is. You know, adequate. Let's see what we got here. First oh, flip. No, no, no. Oh, rock it out like a like a beast. Just ready to take down the. So, Amazon Jungle Survivor, the hunter becomes the hunted. So same exact logo. We do have a fuller on here. Um and <laughs> oh yeah, blade play is quite impressive. I can feel the whole handle shifting back and forth back here. It's okay, you have paracord. <laughs> yeah, it just lash it together with some paracord. Oh, Jamie says the paracord's for making panther snares. R Rascal says, I need one of these for my safari into Chaz. Yes, seriously. <laughs> I love it. Ch hey, hey, get with the time. They switched it to chat, uh, or chop. Chop, chop. That's right. what it is now. Um, actually, this a little known fact, I've got some insider information from chop. This is standard issue. <laughs> oh, you get one of these? You at the, get this at the kit? Gate? At this kit. At the okay. Gate. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So denounce your citizenship and you can have this. Yeah. But don't be an immigrant. You can't be an illegal immigrant. So I they don't understand. I don't understand the paracord here because it's it goes through holes and then it goes behind. So apparently It's holding it together. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about there. It is made there, of but rubber tactical edge. I'm fairly certain. It's definitely some kind of plastic. Um, With the movement of everything. It oh, looks... yeah. Yeah, yeah. The It's quite impressive here. <laughs> that's not blade play. It's supposed to go around corners. Oh, Hollywood Tactical says, what's Chaz and Chop? Oh, buddy. Chaz is the new independent country downtown Seattle. Watch the news, bud. Yeah, yeah, watch the news. They're building um, walls. Yeah, homeless they, people stole they, their food, and they need <laughs> soy and, and meat replacer. Meat replacers, because uh, they're vegan. Yeah, they they set up their own country in Seattle. So if you want independence and want to take part in some lunacy, go to Seattle. Yeah, they took over the police station, and they're just like, yeah. you know, have a new country. I guess. Yeah, yeah having fun. So this here's a hollow ground, uh, sweet, sweet Amazonian uh, super steel. This thing, I, I literally feel like I could just break <laughs> this with my hands. Like, no joke. I, I feel like you could, too. Oh, did you hear it? Yeah, I did. Guys. Guys. Oh, watch your eyes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like, it's bad. Look at this. Do it. Stud fishing wants you to do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Of course, the kid's like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Also, I'll, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, please. I'll cut the shit out of myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, but hold, don't cut yourself. Hold, hold, hold that thought for a second. Oh, we got some tools coming. Don't worry, guys. No, tools. Or something to break it. Just gloves. Oh, just gloves. Got it. Got to protect those dainty hands of yours. Yeah. <laughs> we may get to see some bloodletting after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potentially. 
It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, isn't that Seattle anyway? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Get the band-aids. Uh, oh, we've got plenty of those. I do I want you to handy. look at this. I mean, the amount of blade play here is astonishing. <laughs> He's a uh, uh, tactical says, I told you to tread softly. Quit messing with my ground life. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the clip breaks is what no happens problem. there. And then. Um, yeah, don't cut the meat paws. They have jobs to do for your wife. That, yeah. Not in a weird way. Not in a gross way. <laughs> it's uh, this is quite. Well, the hunter know. becomes the hunter. <laughs> it still works, though. I mean, we've got serious, uh, the blades hitting one side of the scale now and that sort of a thing. Ooh, is Rascal happening. says you have girly hands. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, you fucking shit. I don't know what Whack happened. the back of it on the table. I'm not trying to fuck up my table, kid. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What would your mother say about that? Breakaway clip is badassery. Well, we probably got some bloodletting right there because I just cut my glove because I broke the blade. <gasps> oh no no! So we'll, we'll, let me let me get my hand up. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Super K says it's too flexible to snap. <laughs> no no, it snapped right there in my hand, right there. Uh... So let me pull this off to see because that cut was definitely these gloves are pretty new. So let me see if I just cut the shit out of my hand. No, look at that. Oh, look at that. So I got a little, little spot. But there you go. So the 3CR13. Now you can't strop it. <laughs> the, the Amazonian Super Steel, not so super. Oh, somebody wants to know what the warranty is. I don't know. But hold on, hold on. You have to show proof Let's that consult, you murdered... consult the box. ...an Amazonian something. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I don't. I don't think there's any warranty here, guys. No blood. So let's no see. Blood. Hold on. Let's see if this still works. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the liner. The liner has gone all the way over to the other side now. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, it's still. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. Dink. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it still locks up, and every. Oh, it's still like decent. Lo oh, well, not that way. That's it, just like a real badass poker now. <laughs> Up and down blade play is solid because the lock stick is horrific. <laughs> but check it out, guys. Dink. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, why do I get the feeling this knife will be in a Lynn Thompson Dink. video? Because it's vital to Amazon uh, uh, Filipino fretwork. Yeah, yeah. You got to have, in order to do this right, it's you got to have. be Amazonian. I probably footwork. just let the freaking, the, the, um, what was I trying to say? the curse out of this thing by open or breaking it. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> it's like an Amazoni, Amazonian curse. Oh, Tactical says you the, don't seem to understand it's meant to break off and stay oh. within the hunted. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So... It's the, the John Wayne Bobbit flipper. <laughs> the surprising part here is, is that this was actually hardened. I mean, for it to snap like that, I mean, this thing was actually <laughs> hardened, which is surprising. Um, I'm surprised it didn't just bend. They but. have no warranty because their customers never survive the Amazon to make warranty claims. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. So let's check out. So first, hold, here, hold on. Let's see if we have this right here. Because um, the, <laughs> sheath, the sheath said that it was like super rugged <clears throat> and tough. Right. Um, oh. oh. So this thing was actually sharp, guys. Kind of. Or is that fabric just bullshit? Well, I think it might be some of both. A little bit of A, a little a bit of B. Yeah, Amazon, Amazonian fabric. Um, so let's um, let's pull out this sweet beast. Rascal says, oh, yeah. send it to Beg Knives in California and ask for warranty service. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you shut your mouth, Tactical Edge. He said he saw dark shadows come out. When it <laughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> um, here's the fixed blade. Amazon. Oh, sorry guys. Hit the camera. Amazon jungle survivor. And right here it says 310 mil. 
the hunter becomes the hunted, and we've got all kind. There's so many things happening on this blade. I don't know if these are supposed to be <laughs> a saw up here. I'm gonna guess that's supposed to be a saw. They're saying baton it. Baton. Well, I don't have anything to baton. Why don't we have baton the table? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we don't have anything to baton here. So sorry. <laughs> um, we'll save it for an outdoor video. <laughs> this thing's actually got an edge on it. <laughs> send it. Send those knives to Seattle since they need supplies. <laughs> 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 I fucking would too. <laughs> Let's see if this will actually cut some paper here. And I'm including actual meat products in that package. Yeah, never mind. I thought it had an edge. Psych. Yeah. You need to try and saw a log with it later. Yeah, it's just ripping. So We're not batoning inside, guys. <laughs> not a good edge here. Uh, this. Uh, so we do have this super sweet... Um, Skull cracker sticking out the bottom here. Oh, and then we have this. This little hidden gem. Oh, the ferro rod. Yeah. Gotta have a ferro rod for your This is the most your exciting jungle, part. Your jungle activities. Will it so skull cracker and ferro rod kill the lights? Let's see. Dink. Let's see if we can Dink. this this I will do inside. Hello? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, we're starting fires. There you go. So Look when the that. spirits come out tonight, you can set the house on fire with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ferro rod, and it does function. Now it took the saw <laughs> to actually do it. Scratcher. Look at that. Oh. So it does actually strike the ferro rod. So you know that's a thing. That's something. I mean, it's something. This handle is. I'm. It's a special kind of. Uh, poop here this plastic uh rubber i'm not sure what this is i'm just gonna have that whole knife strictly for sparking because you know i've wanted some some fire starting <laughs> apparatus <laughs> some fire starting apparatus mm -hmm. so yeah this thing yeah eh, i don't know so i'm not sure what we got going on here uh, I'm guessing there's just a screw in there or yeah, something. Yeah, but... definitely keeping that ferro rod for myself. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that out of there. <laughs> yeah. I think it's glued in. We do need some shavings. Yeah. Yeah, not a big deal. But um, So, yeah, this is quite the set here of this super sick fixed blade as well as this uh sweet sweet assisted piece that i broke oh and that piece no there. it's okay we can fix it yeah we can fix it. i'll water back together yeah it's okay stronger than ever all right so now we've got these three <laughs> which one do you, so we have an m tech a war tech and a master collection Master's well i collection. mean since we might have to wage war on a foreign entity, mm -hmm. you know, trying to steal American lands. Chaz, I feel like Wartech. Wartech is the way to go. Formerly known as Downtown Seattle. <laughs> BJ definitely wants you to weld that. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll, next show, I'll I'll see if I can weld that back together, and then next show we'll we'll bring her out. So <laughs> they do in form here. I'm gonna use the actually no. I, I opened this one last. Let me use the fixed blade here to cut the tape. Rah! How's that go? Rah! <laughs> A little shout out to Flossie. Okay. So let me get that shit out of the way. Oh my God. You wake up tomorrow here we go. and the knife healed itself back together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to have knife nightmares tonight. The, the war uh... tech. You ready? Yeah. Do it to him. What the fuck? I don't know. Let me touch it. This has got like a rod or something sticking out the end. It's like a goddamn... It's a god... What is that? I... I don't touch it. Does it have a vice? Is it a pin? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a flashlight. It's a lens. Oh. 
Oh, it's got mm-hmm. laser sight from... Hold on a second. I don't know what we got going on here, guys. This might is a hex, but that's definitely a flashlight. There's a lot going on yeah, here. Yeah, hold on. Let me... Oh, uh, there's a plastic... Di- hold on. It'll... Yeah. Looks like something. We got batteries I... with a... We got a plastic disc here I need to get out. There it is. Oh, yes. Okay. Battery pack. Batteries. Little tiny watch batteries. Uh, right there. Let's see what we got. Oh. Hello? <laughs> it went... Did it, did it, and, and done. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get. Oh, there it is. Oh. Flashlight. Got it. Okay. Guys, I don't know if Justin has It's told not very this, bright, but... But this man has um, an obsession with lights, so that alone... So that alone, was just a magnet in there? Was it? Yes. Oh. And you were just willy-nilly unscrewing stuff. Yeah, because so, I do what I want, because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this flashlight's a piece of shit, for sure. Uh, but let's let's see here. But when you're war teching, you need a light. So let's be honest here. I so mean, you, you got a super sick glass breaker here on the end. You've got this blade down in there, which we've seen that before, the seat belt cutter. And then you've got this looks like a can bottle opener. <laughs> so you ready to see the blade on this? Tactical's sweet piece? got all these knives. Tactical has this one? He says, hey, I have three of those Wartex, green, blue, and red, to give us Christmas gifts. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's a ferro rod right there. Another one. That was right in here. I can start all the fires. Yeah. So this has a light. <laughs> it has a ferro rod. Um, Hold on. Here we go. You ready? Rick says that one lumen has it, it will last 15 seconds. <laughs> exactly. It, here I'm we ready. go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, look at that sweet I mean... clip point. I think I'm just automatically in the military now. <laughs> That's some of the sharp, sharpest uh, points I have ever seen on serrations, I think. That stuff is uh, is pretty vicious. <laughs> Tactical Edge said Sweet earlier. Sweet liner lock. He said, I don't know. Sweet blade play. What I'm looking at, but I might like it. And then after you did that, he said, fuck it. Send me one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Nothing says war tech like a bottle opener. That's for it, that, sure. That's right. That is right. This is so. This is the war tech something or other. Was there a name on this thing? Where's the? No, I don't know. There's a warning label. This is the YC S ninety forty five dash RD. Yeah. So there do. you go. There's the part number. If you want to get your hands on this sick sick piece. Thanks, Big Red. Hey, Big Red. Welcome. Thank you, sir. We do have a bottle of beer, but I don't want to drink it. We're having a good time, Big Red. Um, you last night's show was awesome, and I Zach was on here earlier. I think he had to leave. He said because he had to work or something. But did you guys have a sleepover? Is that what happened? You spend this. We're looking at some shit show knives here, and this one had a flashlight, but it <laughs> it may have been it, it might be already dead at this point. Oh shit. Scott says same exact knife the corpse sent uh, uh, the corps sent us over to war in Iraq with. Uh definitely good enough to invade Somalia or jazz with. <laughs> so now this the light, yeah, it's just showing like a quarter of a lumen. Um Oh, you're lying, Big Red. Oh. You know you guys spooned hard. Yeah, you were the little spoon, Big Red. Don't don't be lying. I know how this went down. Yeah, well, the light, the light's just kind of uh, it's a lost POS. cause, Dad. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna put the light back in there, but the ferro rod. Let's see if we can. If the blade has any, I doubt very much the back of that's gonna be able to strike this, but maybe. Mm-mm. Oh, oh, there, there it goes. was a spark. You just gotta get yeah. the paint off of it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't like it. Um, I don't know how else you would strike with it. Maybe the liner? That's not a bottle opener. It's a rib opener. Yeah, probably. Yeah. The Wartech, it's, it's something special. It truly is something special. 
So another sweet pharaoh rod. <laughs> the score so far, you've killed one blade and one flashlight. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, I have. Uh, there's the blade. Broke it. Um, I'm I'm honestly surprised that that snapped. Honestly, but but hey, it is what it is. Hey, it be what it be. <laughs> All right. So are we moving on? Yeah. Sure. Master collection or M Tech? Oh geez, let's do another M Tech. M Tech. Well, we didn't do. Did we? We didn't have an M Tech. No, yet. I mean just in all the shit show knives. There's, yeah, there's many. A, there's, many there's always M-tech. an M Tech. So this one here is the MT A eleven twenty two T G Niner G Force. All right, let's see if the War Tech can cut the tape. Rah. Rah. They, they taped this on all four sides. Mm. Rah. Rah. <laughs> All right, you ready? You're special. Yeah. You married me. You I ready? Know. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Carol Baskin is <laughs> a fucking bitch! <laughs> so we. De- is this a fucking battle song? I hope. What the hell is this? So it's a tiger something or other. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. Oh, him. guys, guys, guys. <laughs> It's not every day that you get something this special. It's gorgeous. This, this is a faux ballad song. So this is only <laughs> this is only made to think to make you think that it's a ballad song, but not truly a ballad song. But the Tony the Tiger stripes on here are phenomenal. And the best part is, check out those tiger eyes sticking out on that blade. This Just, blade is going to be glorious. It's vicious. I'm already intimidated. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. So, I don't even know what they call these ballad songs <laughs> no. that, are, that are like curved like this, but they, I've seen a bunch of Chinese he, bullshit that has that said a non-flipping ballet. Yeah, yeah, th- yeah. This does not open like that. This is this is a literally a side opening. I guaranteed this thing's assisted. But but that 100% is made to look like it is a battle song. Everybody's 100%. Like, There's the tiger. Grab the Amazon. Oh. Now you can kill it. Yeah, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. The hunter became the hunted. <laughs> oh. There, it scratched it. All right. What the actual fuck? <laughs> All right. All no, right, guys, guys. We're adults, really. <laughs> yeah, we're adults. <laughs> have children and everything. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh okay. my god! All right, so um, let's give this. Oh, I got Tiger Tony the <gasps> Tiger paint on my thumb. Oh no! All right, here we go. Let's flip this beast. <laughs> oh, oh, guys! <laughs> we already determined where tigers look, live. <laughs> look at you, this though. thing and the M Tech logo right in the tiger's mouth. Let Nothing. me get my eyeballs up. Oh, hey, you're bleeding. Oh, there you go. There's the blood. It happened. So there's some dirt in there, too. Rascal, or Stud says... <laughs> okay. What? Rascal says they're special. And us, yeah, we're special. Yeah, we're yes, special, no for doubt. sure. Thank yeah, you. no doubt. Thank you. <laughs> um, Thank you. Stud Fishing says... I'm not an adult. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He says, I'm not an adult. I don't think I'm bleeding. Awesome. I think that's grease. Because look. Oh. Yeah, guys. False alarm on the blood. <laughs> this is actually red grease from the knife. Because there's some on this side of the blade. Or maybe mm. that's just there from the, the tiger's last kill. Maybe. Oh, it's left over. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So So we got a fucking used knife? <laughs> well, I don't know. I no, no. If the All tiger right. used it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn tiger used it. Some bitch. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's getting grease from inside the knife. I a knife for all you cool cats and kittens. Yeah, see there's some red <laughs> grease right there in the handle. If you guys can see that or not. Right there. A little bit of red red grease. Red rum. <laughs> Red Shut rum. <laughs> All right. So this Tony uh, the Tiger Bally is something. <laughs> I mean to tell you, um, this thing is it says, special. Everybody's saying that it's it's actually tiger blood from when you killed it with the Amazon. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it could be. 
Could be. Oh, Slicey. I killed the shit out of that <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Slicey gave us five bucks for band-aids. <laughs> for band-aids. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's probably COVID. It probably is. It oh probably my God. is COVID. Dude, the faux bally here is something special. And I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, you can see the strike marks. Everything from, causes cancer in California, From, from the Amazon uh, jungle survivor. She's a beast. He'll kill the shit out of that tiger. <laughs> is it sharp? They want to know. Is um, the tiger sharp? Ooh. Oh, shit. It, it, hold on, guys. Hold on. She might bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might bite. Let's see. She might bite. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's sharp. It's we, sharp. Faux show. That's the sharpest m -tech I think I have ever seen. I'm not sure how this well, happened. Well, they had to live up to that paint job. Well, that's true. Yeah, you you can't just put a paint job like this on a knife <laughs> and then have it be a pussy. That's, that's right. That's just not even, not even right. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, the tiger, I don't know how we're going to beat that one. I don't have, know. That's a have... fucking Catalina wine mixer of knives. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Catalina wine mixer. Uh, yeah, when you have a faux bally with cartoon, like Tony the Tiger Stripes, and then you have this beautiful, real, <laughs> live tiger mural on the blade. I both bet sides, it's by the way. <laughs> and why they, they missed a prime opportunity to put tiger ass on one side of the blade. Like, put his face on one side and its ass on the other. Right. But no, they put no. two faces. Well, you know. I mean, I guess you want to strike fear from Double both, the both, terror. Double right, the terror. exactly. Okay. But I would argue that a tiger ass would be just as scary. I mean, for sure. But, you know, you for know all those bad, weirdos out there. You know how there. bad cat pee smells? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I really I do. I think I'd take the teeth. <laughs> 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 I'd take the teeth over that. <laughs> we didn't uh, check out to see if the, the war tech, this was the war tech, right? A two-faced yeah. tiger, oh my god. Okay, this, this, so uh, let me explain the, the cat belt. pee thing. We had a cat, he's got a very big thing against cats and cat pee because we had an indoor cat for a little bit and it peed in his suitcase. He's not a fan of cats or cat pee. <laughs> that cat now lives outside and freezes its ass off in the wintertime. Yeah. <laughs> and every time... Uh, I just look at him and was like, it's on you, bro. On you. Oh. So I still love the flipping action here, though. Bam! That thing is sweet. This All I did here was turn this into a Cali legal knife. That's all I did. <laughs> PJ says this is, shoot the cat. <laughs> this, this is now a Cali legal rascal. <laughs> I'm going to send this to you for this. Uh, I know you guys can only have certain assisted knives out there. In Cali, in that wonderful, wonderful state. Um, so now this one's Cali legal. I'll yeah, send her to surely you. Surely it's. Uh, yeah. Tactical Edge, you had a cat pee in your suitcase too? <laughs> no. See? He said, same deal. Little now bastards. they're outside. Yeah, little bastards. Yep. That's a really short blade. <laughs> it is a short blade. It's Cali legal. Oh, in his shoes. Ah, uh, no way. Okay. <laughs> Rascal says, no, dude, that's an assault knife. <laughs> exactly. This is an assault knife. Yeah, you're going to get in trouble. Um, all right, so now we got the master collection. Okay. You ready? Uh, yeah. All right. Mas oh, wait. I is there no part number? Master collection. Let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot about this one. It's gorgeous. This is, this is a paint job, guys. That I'm. I can't wait to see the blade on this bitch. Not sure. Uh, let's just admire the outside for a minute here, because boobies, boobs, but but uh, no nips. No nips. No nips. Who needs a nip? Um, there is a belly button, however. There is a navel. Mm-hmm. She's got a mom pooch. Welcome to the um, club. <laughs> um, she's uh. Yeah, starfish and seahorses and corals and you know, other starfish. Regular mermaid just, fuckery. Uh, just purple. You know. So yeah. But all right. So but let's then, here we go. Uh, we definitely have something going on here on the blade. Let's check her out. Oh. Uh, oh boy. It's beautiful. 
So we it's have gorgeous. A, a clownfish, a bottlenose dolphin, a couple, uh, multiple bottlenose dolphins, a clownfish, and that's a yellow tang. Mm-hmm. Are those called tangs? I think so. Yeah. So, is there, there a dead body? Because you know, dead bodies are in the ocean. Okay. My wife has a, a, a insane fear of open water. Um. Um. Just water with living things in it. Open water, like I said. <laughs> Not afraid of swimming pools, afraid of lakes, oceans, rivers. Because um, there's dead bodies <laughs> and needles in them. <laughs> and um, creatures that will touch and bite and... Ugh. The mermaid actually feels quite good in the hand. Um, oh, Big Red thinks it's pretty. We better send it to him. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Yeah, I actually, I need to send him some stickers anyway. Perfect. So, look at the centering on that, guys. Like, it's it's pretty good. This ma- this is no joke. This This is master collection at its finest. This thing is special. I like the real dumb look that the mermaid has on her face. I want to see her dumb face. Check out her dumb face. It's like she's, well, dead inside. Yeah. It's just kind of a dumb look on the mermaid face. Um, but uh, that sea mural is uh, quite quite spectacular. Um, it's quite the blade shape. Is it the shape. same on the it's other side? Yes. Side? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Other than the Master Collection. And it is a hollow ground blade. It says it's stainless steel. Bet. Um, Let's see if it's sharp. No. (laughs) Notice how your finger lands right on the boobs when you grip it? Yeah, right right in the old hoot gooch there. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right in the old hoot gooch. That's it. That's, that's what it's going to be forever now is a hoot gooch. Hey, ladies, how's your hoot gooch? Sweaty. <laughs> it's hot out here. I got dirt in my hoot gooch. I'm mowing. Yeah. Yeah. Got leaves in the old hoot gooch. Let me get my dollar bills out of my hoot gooch. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely your finger does land right in the old hoot gooch. But really, you know, it's. It, it's quite quite comfortable oh, in hand. Fuck my hoot <laughs> gooch. <laughs> the hoot gooch got me right in the giggle dick. Oh, the dogs oh. are mad. No laughing. No laughing. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> Right on. So there we go. So we got the master <laughs> collection. We got the tiger, uh, the the tiger some bitch, the whatever this thing was. Emma, Emma shut up! What, what are the you hell doing? Is, she, is she dying? I think so. We have a dog that's dying over here. I, mean, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. She's just being dramatic. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but she was just whining and moaning and carrying on. I think, I don't know if she thinks we're fighting because we're laughing hard or what. She she stared out the window. Oh, she's growling at something outside. Probably a neighbor cat over. Uh, Okay. All right. So here was the the shit show knives from tonight. (laughs) Um, Definitely some some quality stuff here. Uh, Rare. The tiger. The the cat basket. the, the The Cali legal. Um, the, the old Chaz Conqueror here. So definitely, (laughs) definitely got some pretty, pretty solid contenders there. Um, what, what's so funny? (laughs) Oh God. The Hoot Gooch and the Poon Gooch. What more can you ask for? That's what I'm saying. So, uh, (laughs) that will forever be burned into my brain. You're welcome. Yeah. Stud wants you to whack two of the knives against each other. Not trying what? to lose eyeballs, young man. I don't I don't get it. Just like this? <laughs> like is that what you meant? <laughs> Just like like that? Good times. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> don't you Gregory oh Burke, God. how are you doing? Emma, calm down. It's not a hot gooch, it's a hoot gooch. <laughs> it's a hoot gooch. And quit talking about putting your cucumbers in oh, it. Oh, sorry, Slicey. I know I 
Honestly, I don't know if the... I don't think we really scratched it so much as it just left the... <laughs> I mean, you can see the marks, but the Wartech, this is tough. The Wartech's tough. And obviously, the Fish of the Sea... It's tiger versus Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiger versus Mermaid. Um. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Hi, Greg. Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm just saying sorry for the fuckery you came oh, into. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man, if it's just lunacy that you just came into, or sorry. Oh, my God, funny. Right on. Well, we've been going for over an hour. Um, do you have anything that you want to say or do or whatever? Uh, real quick, guys. I'm so wound up I got the some the hoot gooch. I can't <laughs> do anything. Can't, can't do anything, huh? I almost get mad. So what? this week we got some reviews what? coming up. Um, I got a full review on the old uh, SOG XR Terminus. Uh, this one happens to be the S35VN variant. <laughs> the M-Tech here, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> yeah, 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 the song. Um. So we'll definitely be talking about this knife, some good, some bad, um, some interesting stuff, some things I thought I would really love about it, and turns out not so much, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, still, it, it's a decent knife. Um, and then <laughs> we've got, uh, yeah, several things coming up. They'll see a video on the Pearson Custom Knives Titan uh, very soon. So this thing is an absolute beast in 10V blade steel. So, yeah, pretty cool knife for sure. Thank you so much, Ryan and Rodney Pearson. Uh, if you have not checked them out, uh, do so. Pearson Custom Knives on Instagram. Awesome guys. They can hook you up with a beauty like that. Grom says, from those knives to the SOG, I'm suffering mood whiplash. <laughs> yeah, and then... Uh, Definitely uh, got some Tucson love coming. We're going to do some <laughs> uh, some mod work on some Tucsons. And like I said, I'm going to be giving a few of these away. Um, oh, not just some Tucsons, but uh, but we definitely have got some super cool Tucsons uh, that we're going to do some reviews on. And yeah, you'll get to see some really cool stuff. Uh, both of these models happen to be an S90V blade steel. Super cool, and this one here, awesome new Tucson knife, great design. All these just begging for some Anno work, so BJ's, looking forward to that. BJ wants you to do a video explaining the difference between Poon and Hoot Gooch. Okay, yeah, we can do that for sure. Um, for for those guys like Hollywood Tactical and uh, and you know that are that are still. Uh, single and ready to mingle. I'll explain the difference between poon, poon gooch, hoot, and hoot gooch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, right on. Good times. Oh, tiger blood brand Tig grease. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there was some tiger blood brand grease right there. You can see some on the uh, blade there. And let me show you right there. Yeah. Bottom Red grease. Blood, psych. It's just extra grease. Just extra grease. Actually, you can see it in these holes right here. It's like built up oh, in these holes. God, Holy gross. shit. Yeah, that's that's all from the sweet, sweet uh, assisted action on this beast. So, so yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome uh, knife there. Stud fishing is going to... Kitty, kitty, kitty. He's going to... Um, Probably skip the the poon and the hoot gooch and the that video. Okay, you know, yeah, and uh, for it's, a, it's not age appropriate. It's really not. And as your mother, I'm telling you, no, you're not allowed. Yeah, you're you're just not allowed to watch that one. You grounded. <laughs> I forgot he was in here, and here I am talking about hoot gooch and all kinds of stuff. Hey, it doesn't matter. He's got to learn sometime. He's not our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just ruin someone else's kid. Yeah. Um, Already done did ruin mine. I, I, I didn't actually draw blood, Big Red. I thought I did because I snapped this blade off uh, just by hand. <laughs> and, and it cut my damn glove. Let me show you. Cut, cut my glove right there. 
but did not cut my hand. It did did give me a little bit of a scratch, uh, but it did not bleed. So this thing did not make me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> but we did make it a Cali legal uh, uh, assisted now. So the action on this thing, I mean, you want to see, you want to talk about fast action right here. Dang. Bang. Yeah. Fastest knife I ever did see. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. This is it right here. You ready? Bang. Knees <laughs> knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lol. Oh, that made me, <laughs> lol, lol, lol. oh, Zach's back. My friend Big Red. Yeah, Zach. Uh, Big Red was trying to say that you guys didn't spoon last night, and I'm not buying that for a second. So, definitely, you guys obviously had a sleepover, which, I, hey, dude, I'm not hating on you. I'm just sad I wasn't there. So right, he likes the spoon too. Yeah, I like the spoon too. He's got a good butt sure. too. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks so much. Uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good time tonight. Uh, we certainly laughed a lot. Ooh, he winked at you. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Anyway, um, good time with the shit show knives. If anybody's got some old junk knives that they want to send in here to watch us uh, beat on and break and whatnot, uh, feel free. Um, my PO box is always in the in the uh, video description, so yeah, just feel free to send some some junk stuff in if you want to see it on a video. Um, we greatly appreciate it, and it's always just a lot of fun to mess around with this junk stuff. And just be idiots. Just yeah, just be dumb. Um, I don't, I'm I not do sure what all's day, going but... on in here. So, yeah. Huh. Ferro rod and a flashlight and a seatbelt cutter and a can opener. So, yeah, this thing's uh, this thing's something special. Can and now I the, send, the light doesn't go back in there. Send clones to destroy outdoors? Uh, sure. Yes, we can do outdoors. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, if anyone sends clones in, I, I don't care about that. I mean, as long as you understand that they might get broken. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, you know, I just don't want someone to be like, hey, you son of a bitch, that was my favorite knife. Um, you know, as long as you understand that it, you're sacrificing for the... the yeah. Please label as shit show yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please label. Don't... Yeah, don't send me... Because my idea of shit show knife and yours might be two different things. So. Right. So just be be aware that, you know, um, this this might happen to your knife right here, and I don't want you to be upset about that. Guys, the only time I am appropriate is at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't, there's not a whole lot of appropriate things going on around here. <laughs> so, so anyway, guys, um, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good time and enjoyed this. Um, it's past Molly's bedtime. Mm -hmm. And so we I'm all better... wound up from that hoot gooch stuff. <laughs> all wound up. So we better get rolling. Um, so thanks so much. Greatly appreciate it. Um, really appreciate all the support. I'm um, really happy with all the new subscribers that we have and all that stuff. And I'd really love to make it to 2,000 subscribers before the, the one year anniversary. So we still got a little more than a month left. So hopefully, I think we're I think we're about two hundred and fifty subscribers short, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we make it there. It would be Do cool. Do it too. Um, follow um, me on Instagram. Cause... Oh yeah, and you can go and follow Molly on uh, Instagram at um, what is it, Mrs. O Mrs. Underscore OCD one six. There you go. It's in the description. Okay. It's I'm in the description. It. But there's animals there. If you want to see animals, <laughs> thank you so much, Zach. We really appreciate it. We will spoon for sure. I like being the little spoon. <laughs> Good. I get the bed to myself. <laughs> oh, here we go. She always gets the bed to herself. I do. I take up this much of the bed and I'm a big guy and, and I, I'm on the very edge of falling off the bed every single night. Walter and I need our space. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 So... What knife do you... Um, actually, Stud, my son has been... Uh, used to carry a T... Uh, hold on a second. Oh. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that. I hit the camera big time. 
um, my son what did carry not this exact uh, this exact one, but one just like it. This is the Tucson TS one sixty eight, which he still carries quite often. Um, but uh, so he carried this for a very long time, and then now he's actually EDC in a small fixed blade uh, that he uses for work every day. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was more just kind of a try it out thing. But he's really enjoyed it. The fixed blade that he carries is a uh, it's not a it's it's actually a production, but it was a small quantity production. I don't even remember the name of it. Uh, but it's real thin, um, real, it's only like a, maybe a three inch blade, um, or two and three quarters, something like that. So otherwise he carries this, this same knife right here. Like I said, not this exact one, but one just like it. Um, and then, uh, my daughter, um, she actually has a couple battle, battle songs. She can do some flipping and stuff. Uh, and then she's got, oh, what else does she have for She knives? had, um, <clears throat> A Swiss Army knife she was carrying and using the other day when we oh, were down. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't and remember what all she has. Occasionally, uh, um, she has carried just some of my yeah, knives. just random knives. Yeah. She'll... Yep. So she'll pick one before we leave the house with Dad's permission. <laughs> yep, that kind of thing. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm yeah. gonna send whatever spider co I end up. For. <laughs> yeah sure if you want if yeah if you send uh if if you get the pot leaf filled in on that uh, spider co hole uh yeah if you want to send it in for review we'll show it off man for sure i still mine's sitting in the other room i haven't done anything with it yet and um but yeah it would be pretty funny to put that thing in the <laughs> in one of the spider co's for sure oh, so shit. Right on, guys. Um, well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all the people coming in here tonight. Uh, really enjoy it. And uh, glad you guys enjoyed the, or hope you guys enjoyed the show. And and uh, we will see you here next Sunday night. Yeah. Thanks for making me laugh my balls off. Put your thumbs on it. Like, subscribe, do all the things. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you next time. There will be some videos coming up real soon. Bye. Bye, y'all.